Hi everyone! For perspectives, I wanted to look into some different opinions on the question, should we give money to the homeless? Most of us have walked past a homeless person begging for money on the street, and it's a growing problem here in Auckland. I wanted to find out how we as a society react to this. It's quite a controversial issue, and I found various articles that are very contradicting in regard to this problem. There are titles ranging from Giving money to beggars makes the problem worse, to why you should give money directly and unconditionally to homeless people. Today, I'm going to read to you some of the comments reacting to articles on this issue. Number one, Kiwis have become a really judgmental, greedy lot. We need to take a good hard look at life versus money and see if we can get back to some decent morals and enjoyment of life instead of always playing to the bank tunes. Money isn't everything. Poor people are just as good as rich. We're the same. Wow, I think that one's quite deep. But this next one sounds kind of offensive. Okay, quote. New Zealand, home of the obese homeless. All my South American friends th think that our homeless are a joke. They're right. Well, I don't find the joke funny at all. But here's the next comment. New Zealand is one of the highest tax countries in the world. I consider my con contribution paid. I'm not giving them more of my hard-earned money. I guess this can come across as cold-hearted, but honestly, I can see where this person is coming from. Here's the next one. Some beggars can make more in one day than we can make in a week at our place of work. Professional beggars do this seasonally in some countries and spend time overseas on holiday. Pretty clever if done right. Okay, we've got a few more left. Next one. We are a selfish society, I'm not surprised. I tend to choose who I give my money to. If I have $10 to my name until my payday, I do not mind sharing some because I know the struggle. There are a lot of foreign people behind these growing amount of luxury supercars, living it up around us, working poor Kiwis. It's a freaking punch to the face some days. Mm, this is really sad. But I have respect for this person. Knowing about this struggle can really make a difference. Next one. I live in a hostel with a number of people I see begging on Queen Street in Auckland. They are mostly eccentrics, mentally ill, and intellectually challenged, types who will never find employment and have to suffer the indignity of trying to survive on a paltry benefit. Throw them a few coins if you can. So for this next one, it's from an article that advises people to donate to local charities instead of giving money directly to the homeless, where apparently they spend it on things like drugs and smoke and things like that. The comment reads, Just another angle. My wife works for a fund manager. Many hundreds of their clients are not-for-profit and charities. Plenty of cash for executive level salaries, cars and expenses for those at the top, with reserves to be put aside for a rainy day, hence the need to retain a professional fund manager. If you're going to donate, make sure you know where your money will be going. And finally, the last comment that I've got. Don't know why, but I feel a whole lot more generous now, sitting at home on the sofa, than when passing these guys on the street without giving them anything. Note to self, remember the golden rule and be generous next time. Yes, I should really remember this golden rule. <laughs> so that's all the comments for today. Forming an informed opinion of our own and figuring out what's really the right thing to do can be confusing and quite a tedious task. In this day and age, we are so bombarded with info that it's really hard to tell which ones we can trust. But one thing for sure is that this is definitely something worth thinking about. Now, I'm one of those people who can't walk past a homeless person with a clear conscience. So sometimes I buy them some food, but most of the time I'm guilty of being that person who rushes past pretending not to notice. Looking at how we as a society react to this issue of homelessness, I think it really comes down to two types of people. Someone who is apathetic and someone who is compassionate. 
what this really made me think about is that an act of compassion or an act of love is not the same as a spur of the moment act of giving that's stemmed from a feeling of guilt or uncomfortable obligation. I think a real act of compassion knows or at least tries to figure out what is best for the person on the receiving end. So my question for you is what will you do the next time you walk past a homeless person and what's your take on the issue of giving money to the homeless? Please feel free to leave a comment below and thank you for watching Perspectives.